These are my Logitech pedals and today I'm gonna be replacing them and upgrading to the holy grail of sim racing, load cell pedals. Camus, a brand I've partnered with, sent me a nice package today, their top of the line LC100 pedal set. This video is not sponsored by them, but I do have a promo code, the Dulles, which would get you 5% off your next purchase. However, at the time this video should come out, Camus is having their massive Mayday sale, which with my code, you will get 17% off your purchase. Coming at $260, they are their most expensive pedal set you can get today. However, in the sim racing market, they are actually one of the cheapest load cell pedals you can get, as load cell pedal market can range up to more than $1,000. Wow, wah, wee, wah. that looks nice. As always, it came with some packaging, regular stuff. Apart from that, there comes the box. So let's open it and see what's inside. Oh my god, that's the whole plate and it's so heavy actually. Oh my goodness. You can see the little camos up here behind the plastic. So this is the whole plate and I gotta say, this thing is heavy. Very much from metal. Damn, that's some really good material. I think I have it the wrong way. Wait, what? Oh, what the hell? The, the box opened the wrong way. Oh, that's why. Oh, I opened the box from the bottom. Or I guess just do this. Oh my god, these are chunky. Holy smokes. So here we have three pedals, gas, clutch and the blow cell brake with it it comes with a usb type c cable and also a little usb type c to usb adapter Ooh, that's really nice actually some bolts and this cable uh i don't know what's this exactly but whatever a cable oh and i guess at the bottom or at the top as where it should have been is the user's manual which we don't really need do we okay we might need it to build it but for now we're, we're good Oh my goodness, these are absolutely massive. So these two seem to be like the clutch and the gas and the one behind is the brake with the load cell, which is apparently 100 kilograms. Sounds massive. Wow, these feel so stiff. Oh my God. Oh my, wow. Okay, this is the clutch. Oh, wow, I, 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 I can't even press it. And this is the load cell brake. I mean, this one, I probably won't even be able to reach like any percentage. Oh my god, it's so heavy. What the hell? I can't, I literally can't even push it. Oh, wait, there's also, I can also adjust with this thing how strong I want it to, I want this to be. And at the moment it was at zero or not? I'm not sure actually. We'll have to test it out later on. So the building process began. It's all in Chinese. Is there anything in English? Oh, there we go. My precious language. There is very little info from what I can see. The first thing I had to do was tighten the screws to the base plate and attach the pedals. This one was fairly simple though a bit complicated as these pedals weigh quite a lot. Now the biggest difference what makes load cell pedals so good is that instead of using potentiometer or hall sensors which measures the distance traveled, load cell measures the pressure which allows you to get more consistent and accurate results as muscle memory does better with applying force than counting distance. And this is only used on the brake, the other two pedals have hall sensors. Okay, they are kind of inside. Oh my god, this thing is so heavy! So I'm technically kind of done, but what now? There's still plenty of screws left, which I don't even know where to put them. I guess they would go inside of a rig, but I don't have one. The second step was connecting the cables, and here's where I ran into some issues. This is so tiny. It is one of the tiniest things I've ever seen. Oh my god, these are so hard to get in. Because these cables are not even like bending that well. I'm like, and I'm scared to break them. Dude, this cable just feels broken, honestly. Like it just feels so loose. It feels absolutely loose. These cables genuinely feel really bad. They feel really cheap. Like, I feel like I broke them already. I mean, wait for this last one. Okay, I think they're they're in, but they, they feel broken already, honestly. Oh, my table is scratched even more now. Wonderful. Okay, it's in. After that, it was time to finally replace the old pedals and step into the best pedal experience I've ever had. And yes, I am gonna be using them on the floor, as I don't have a rig and we'll get to that later. However, the bolts from the plate are sticking out, so I decided to place one of the foam covers the pedals had, so at least I can protect my floor from scratches, as well as something the pedals my table suffered some damage. 
And before putting the pedal, I wanted to compare the size difference between the CP5 pedals I got with the C5 bundle, the Logitech pedals, and the big boy LC100 pedals. These pedals are clearly not a joke, as it makes even the Logitech pedals look tiny. Now with the connectivity, these pedals can be connected in a few ways. Using the USB Type-C cable directly into your wheelbase, as well you can connect it directly into your PC if you don't have a Camus wheel. And if your PC doesn't have a USB Type-C port, here's where the included adapter comes in handy. There's also the RG11 phone line cable included, which I tried understanding what it's used for, but honestly, I have no idea. Obviously this isn't an ideal place, but let's see how it will work. I'm pressing the, the throttle and it just moves a lot, it doesn't feel in place. Oh my god, it's... Do you wanna lift? I mean, they're, they're, they're very unstable. Yeah, I mean, that's not good. It needs to be bolted on, which is, I mean, I do, we do not have the capacity for that, sadly. At least not for now. Ooh, discovering new pedals. Okay, do, they do seem to be recognized. Okay, that's good. The brake is, oh my god, are you kidding me? That, 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 that's not even max. Oh, because it's load cell, isn't it? So, like, I have to hit it, like, super hard. I don't have that much force. I'm, I'm, I'm. Okay, I mean, to be fair, oh my god, yeah, this is gonna be tough. What if I said this to be my, 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 my max? Dude, this feels so hard. Okay, what about the clutch? Wait, what? Why isn't, why isn't the clutch working? And of course, problems. Clutch doesn't work. Oh, what? Okay, well that's something new. Okay, so the gas is working, the brake is working. Why isn't the clutch working? Now, I tried disconnecting and connecting the cable again, but it was a big pain in my butt to do that, as reaching it was quite hard. Okay, what? Why is it when I'm pressing it, it, it gets connection? Okay, now it's out. The other problem was the cable itself, which not only wasn't bending the way I wanted, but it also looked broken in a few places. And the rubber molding was literally on the connector in some places, but even after giving some foreskin trimming, it still didn't work. It's really hard to get to it because the pedals are so close to each other. Let's try again, but this time I'll, do, I'll just connect the cables like, like that. Why? Why do you keep doing that? Eventually, I gave up, broke support, and went to sleep. The next day, I received a response that offered me to do calibration. Damn, thanks for the help, I guess. Thankfully, my brain thought of maybe updating the software. We're now on the different version. Let's see whether this will work. Gas is working. Brake is working, but how about the clutch? There's nothing. There's nothing. Not even like an input of any sort. Wait! Hold up. I saw something. I saw something. That was something. Okay. Wait, it's, it could be working, but now I have to press it to the max. How do you... Oh my god. I want to... Okay, I need to calibrate them. I think they're working now. I just need to calibrate them. I have to press a mouse button at the same time while, while pushing them to the max, which I'm just too weak to get it. Okay. Let me set this to be my, my max. Okay. Okay. I think it's working, actually. Oh my god, is it working? Yes. Oh, thank god. All the took was just download some updates for the software. Oh my god. Now let's do one last calibration before we actually go. Okay, I mean, if I like push it fully in, the blade uh, it wants to lift a little bit. There's so many cables up here now. My cable management is zero. Okay, my clutch, oh my god. I barely push it and it's already counting inputs. Oh my goodness. There's basically zero resistance and I'm not even pushing all the way in. And it's already lifting the plate. Just for fun, I want to try using it 100%. Okay, now at maximum brake force. Oh my god, I can't even... Okay, I'm using right now the 100% load cell. My, I think I've said like, maybe like, I'm pressing as hard as I can, I'm not even getting 1%. There's zero inputs. There's zero. I'm just weak. And also like, it's, it's moving all over the place. Okay, back to zero we go, I guess. 
The pedals seem to be quite high, like my feet are fairly big. I would like these to be a bit lower. My feet are size 48 European, which is like something in American. If I like rest my feet on the on the plate and I fully extend my feet, I mean, I can barely touch the top, which is a bit high for me. I mean, actually, I can see I, I can lower it, which I, which I might as well do it. But let's try it with, with these settings just to see. Okay, first impressions, I mean, they're just moving all over the place. There's like zero stability. The gas pedal seems very, very, very stiff for me. I'm a bit not used to that, but it does feel nice about heel and toe. Okay, everything is lifting. Oh my god, that these pedals actually feel amazing. I'm, I'm not even like using like full throttle because like literally like anything more than like 50% makes me lift the whole plate. They do feel pretty good, but they're just sliding a lot. And even like if I put like some like carpet stoppers, it's not only about that. They also like they just lift. You're you're using so much force that they're eventually just gonna lift. So you need to bolt them down like to something. I don't have the capability. We might build a rig actually, or maybe somebody will send me a rig to test. We'll have to see. And lastly, I wanted to try the adjustments to see whether I can make it more usable without a rig. There are quite a few ways you can adjust each pedal. You can twist these bolts that will make the spring softer and you can also position the travel arm into a lower or higher position which will make your feet suffer more or less. For the brake, you can adjust this little thing at the back which again, with max force, I was unable to push them at all. But now, the big elephant in the room. I don't have a rig and using these pedals without it is not good. There is zero stability and it's hard to use them. So now, there's two solutions. Buy a rig or build a rig. Buying a rig is very expensive, especially with my production budget being zero, so I'm leaning towards the DIY rig, but for that, I still need money. So for now, no rig, but hopefully in the next couple of weeks, something will start towards building the rig. For now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing and see you in the next video.